In this session, we want to take a look at file screening. File screening in File Server Resource Manager allows the administrator to screen the files that the user can access. Let's take a look. I'm going to click on Tools, File Server Resource Manager. We want to expand file screening management. And we have some predetermined file groups. And we also have file screen templates. Let us take a look at the file groups that exist in File Server Resource Manager. We're going to click on File Groups. And we can see the file groups in the middle pane. You have audio and video files, backup files, compressed files, email files, um, exe files, image files, different types of files. And you can see here that they, they are in file groups and they have extensions. Let's take a look at the image file group. I'm going to click on image file and we Go over to the action pane and say edit file group properties. Here we can decide that we want to exclude a, a file extension for the image file from the group or if we want to add an additional type of image file we simply would type the extension star dot whatever the extension of that file was and click on add. So we can customize that file group to make it what we want. If we, for example, wanted to block um, IMG files or GIF files, then we could only choose those two and we could exclude the others. And that would be the group that we would be using for our file screening. Let's cancel the file group property box. So any one of the groups that we want to use within the file screen, we can edit it or we can leave it as it is. Then we have predefined file screen templates that are already created for us. For example, block audio and video files. Now we could look at that template. And we could create a file screen using that template. Let's take a look at the block audio and video file template. We can right click on it and say edit template property or we can create a file screen from the template. Right now, let's look at the properties. So we're gonna click edit, and we have the properties here. And you have two screening types. You have active screening, which when you select active screening, it means that you don't want users to save unauthorized files. And then you have passive screening where you allow users to save the file, but you are monitoring what the user does. So the passive screening you want to use for monitoring. You can do more than one file group at a time. And you can edit that file group. For example, suppose I wanted to edit audio and video files. I can click on edit and here I can remove the audio and video files that I don't want or I can add additional audio and video files so again I can customize that file group property right here within the template Let's cancel now I can also look at notifications for example email message event log
command and report. And these are the same tabs that we saw when we created the file quota. So when you decide that you're going to create a file screen, the actions that can be taken would be these actions here. Email, event log, command, and report. Let's cancel this box. Let's go ahead and create a file screen. So we're going to right click on file screen and select create file screen. For the file screen path, we have to look for that folder where the files are located. So we're going to browse and we are going to look on the C drive and make a folder. And we're going to call this folder file screen. Let me click on OK. So that would be the path C file screen. How do you want to configure this file screen properties? And we can do it from a template or we can define our own properties. Let's first look at the template here. You click the down arrow. You can see that you can choose either to block audio and video files block exe files, block image files, and <clears throat> let's look at, let's choose block audio and video files here. Look at the summary of this file screen properties. The template that you're going to create it from is block audio and video files. The screening type for this one is active, and it gives you the file groups, and it gives you the notification. Let's take a look at defining the file screen properties. So we're going to click on define and click custom properties. So we can choose here again whether we want to choose one group or the other group. We're going to stick with block audio and video files. We can again choose active or passive we can maintain the file groups or we can choose a particular file group we're going to choose audio and video files and we can simply click on create if we wanted to um, maintain the file group that we selected, which is this one. Once you are satisfied that these are the selections that you want, passive, audio, and video files, then you can click on Create. Here you have the file group name. You type the name of the file group and we were doing audio and video. And we can click in the files to include box. And we can type some extensions to include, for example, an audio file might be sar.avi and you can add that and then you can add as many audio and video extensions as you want. If there are any extensions that you want to exclude, you can also add those. So you're creating the file group properties here, which is the custom file group properties. Click on OK. If there are any others that you want to add to that, you can simply select the group and make your changes. Notice at the top here that copy properties from the template is optional. 
if we're sure this is the selection that we want we can click on OK to continue check the settings that you have make sure they're what you want and then you click on create again just as with the quarters you have the option of saving the custom properties as a template that you can use again or saving the custom file screen without creating a template. So we're going to choose the latter one, save the custom file screen without creating a template and click on OK. Now we can see that we have our file screen here and the file screen is passive. If we were to right click on the file screen, we can create a template from the file screen or we can edit the file screen property. So let's click on edit. And we can again choose to change the settings. We can choose email message, event log, command, or report. Let's click on report. Generate reports. You can select a number of reports to generate, or you can select one type of report to generate. Let's look at the different types of reports. Files by owner. So this is a type of report that we can generate once we select that. And again, you don't only have to choose one type of report. You can choose different types of reports. You also have here the maximum number of files to include in all storage reports. And you can change the configuration of that number. Also, when the quota or file screening event generates incident reports, you can send reports to the following. And you would click the checkbox and you have the administrator there by default and you can add anyone else that you want to send a report. You also can send reports to the user who attempted to save an unauthorized file. And the report will be saved in the storage reports incident folder. Let's click on OK to close the file screen property box. So we see that as the administrator, you have the power to make a decision what type of files your users will be able to access. And you do that with File Server Resource Manager by creating file screens. Remember, you can create file screens from the templates that exist, or you can customize and create your own file screen, putting in your own file extensions or excluding your own file extensions. This is the end of our session on file screening in file server resource manager i want to thank you for listening